Good afternoon, guys. Marshall here. Now, if you're new to the community, every Friday I do something called Marshall's Minute. This started back in uh, July at the request of people wanting to know what was going on in my life, what I, how I handle challenges post codependency, post narcissistic abuse, what I'm discovering in my own growth. Kind of give you guys a point of view or perspective or a glimpse into what can be. You know how we deal with life outside of the codependent paradigm so every friday i take a few minutes and share about what's going on in my life this week has been a challenge um in, in some very unexpected ways um i have a family member that has been going through a pretty serious crisis and we're working with him to help him get through that um yeah Narcissistic abuse is a family event, right? And uh, my, my little brother, they caught up with him. So we're starting to get him some real help for what he needs. Further, this, this experience business-wise, uh, community-wise, movement-wise, has been very, very radical over the last week because I created my little um, what to apologize for and not to apologize for little list that I do, and that thing took off. That that was, it's at 21,000 shares right now. And that doesn't include the snapshotted shares that people keep sending me in private messages. They're like, hey, this is this yours? Yes, that's mine. And it's a very, very, um, many of you, over 100 of you, especially the new one, you guys who've joined over last week or came here in response to that list. And it's really cool. It's really, really uh, validating and humbling uh, to be able to make that kind of impact and have people reach out and join and to see the world differently from a point of view that, you know, codependency isn't a, a mistake, it's not a burden, it's not a sin, it's not selfishness. It's fundamentally our survival mechanism. It's, it's how we survived uh, neglect, neglect of love and attention, affection, protection, safety, connection, value, and identity, um, i.e. the discard trauma. And so it's this has challenged me, guys. It, it, I am now, I'm an introverted person. I'm a person that likes his solitude, that likes his space, that enjoys um, not being in the spotlight. I enjoy creating things that work and that are successful and efficient and effective for you guys. Um, but wow, to have that kind of attention really, really was intense. And it was, it was fun, but it, it also brought up some things in me. It's like, wow. I got some old trauma talking, things to look at, things to, to kind of get in there and resolve. I use a technique called the closure technique to heal trauma, and um, it works extremely well. And uh, so I've been, I have apprentices, people I train in this technique, so they can go out and do it themselves, and I have them working with me on that. Because you can't really apply it to yourself effectively. It's kind of like you can't do heart surgery on yourself. Well, you can't really do it with the big things. And it works on smaller things really well because you're able to hold focus, but with big, you know, physical experiences, it can be a little challenging. So this week has been me out on a limb, leaning into what I've been exploring and leaning and, um, and discovering over the last eight, nine weeks of being a leader more, embodying that energy, um, reaching out and connecting more um, helping you guys see beyond that codependency, but also stepping into my own definition of energy and, and leadership, my own brilliance. That's that's a big thing here in the community. Brilliance, brilliance, brilliance. You are brilliant. Your codependency is a result of brilliance. Um, what we do after it's a result of our brilliance. And really, that's where I, I hope that you guys can connect to, and I hope that I can be effective enough to help you see and in yourself are like wow i have real brilliance and i can tap into it and i can make it work for me i can let it um explode for you and brilliance is a funny thing because it's not necessarily something you have a whole lot of uh you, know, you don't have a whole lot of control and the consequence to it but you do have a lot of um ability to influence receiving it right and so it tends to show up in ways that we un we don't expect i didn't expect that that list to to do anything at all. I, I've made many of them over the, the years and that one just took off. It's like, wow, look at that. So 
this is me out on a limb. I'm exploring this really interesting horizon um, and, and space beyond my comfort zone of being in the background and being more in the forefront without absorbing it. Ooh, that's a biggie for us. We have a bad habit of absorbing people's energy, their opinions, their emotions, their judgments, and then making it part of us. And this has been a really fantastic experience about not doing that, but rather observing it and um, allowing myself to receive validation, right? We all want a little bit of validation. We need it both in, within ourselves and a bit publicly or, or socially so we know, you know, maybe we're on target or not. But it's also been about, hey, who am I in this? Maintain grounding, stick with my principles, stick with my values, stick with me, right? So in codependence to confidence, there's this thing I teach called the 10 laws, and it's taught through the Thrive Strategy trainings, and there's 10 of these laws. And I can actually pull them up. Let's see. Oh, let me see here. Let me get uh, the inlay graphic. I will go find the laws. Yay! So you guys can get some like uh, advanced funness here. Uh, down to Thrive Strategy. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Do, do. Oh, nope, that won't be in there. It'll be in here. So as you sit here and listen to me talk to myself, there we go. These 10 laws actually build on each other. These, if you work with me one on one, this is what we actually work through at depth in combination with like the heal tools that are taught in codependence to confidence and if you're dealing with love addiction we also uh, and we, we knock that puppy out too so you don't have to deal with that loneliness anymore you can actually have that internal connection that liberates you from needing a relationship and from toleration of unhealthy things unhealthy people and dynamics where is the tent I gonna be right there. All right. There's the ten laws. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that neat? I'm gonna do a quick trick here, and I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Kind of move it up. Okay. These ten laws are what I'm going through right now in my life, and and this is how I keep my grounding. This is how I keep my focus. This is how I keep my awareness is first law one i choose to live in my power that means i keep my personal autonomy i keep my value i don't attach my value to the validation publicly i do not attach it to rejection or approval i maintain that value it's sacred our value is sacred that leads me to law number two which is being curious being curious is all about what else is possible here who am i in this what what do i value in this experience and if I have like attachments or things that are coming up, I can use that a uh, lot to help me navigate through any conclusions or assumptions, judgments, or expectations I have about things. Then in law three, I'm regulating my anxiety from the exposure, but I'm also allowing myself to receive it without being um, in threat. Okay, uh, my early childhood, there was a lot of physical abuse um, when I would do me when i show up and do the things i do i got bullied by by family i got bullied by peers and um so i i need to help my nervous system my body know that i'm safe despite the exposure that's going on so i do that through thrive emotionally and then i know me i know what my principles are i know what my values are so i stick with those i embrace that with love and with courage and i choose me first by allowing that to happen and now i get to contribute and that's where law seven comes in. I get to choose others deliberately. And this is where I get to contribute deliberately. So that's where the sorry, not sorry, uh, five day challenge is going to come in where I get to contribute. Um, this will be really cool. This will be fun. I'm excited to see what you guys gain as you liberate yourself from the need to say sorry. We'll be starting that September 30th. I'll be posting much more information on that shortly. And then in law eight, there's some challenges and conflicts in me. And so I'm working those out. And then law nine, that allows me to thrive. And law 10, I can accommodate or commit to life, which means this new adventure, this new new um, horizon, what is this? What is it going to be? How do I want to respond to it? What do I want 
to um, have power in it with that kind of thing guys this is how we deal with life we don't run and hide we run towards it we embrace it and using these 10 laws we're able to accomplish that and if this is really appealing to you you're going like yeah I want to know what this is then you need to get your membership to codependence to confidence you can do that by taking the master class at workshop 2.freetheself.com that will allow you to uh, accomplish that uh, to join the membership and start your healing process guys this is this is why my stuff works this is why it's successful not only do I teach it but I live it but it's also applicable to real life right you can follow all ten of these things in life right now and actually accomplish big breakthroughs for yourself so it's really not about therapy this isn't therapy this is healing and then this is thriving that's really what's cool about this we're moving beyond the need to cope and we're moving into the joy of expression so that's what I've been experiencing this week in my life is the application of these 10 laws the joy of new exposure and then working through the traumas that show up okay and that's been a stressful week <laughs> especially for my brother and so we can handle big things guys we can do we can do it and we can have compassion and empathy and boundary and love we can still thrive even though others might be suffering because we can honor their pain and continue to promote our well-being too. It's, it's all about understanding how we balance what we absorb versus what we observe and what we contribute. Okay? Thank you guys for showing up for Marshall's Minute today. Thank you for being so supportive in the group to each other. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for sharing your adventures and your stories. Thank you for being you. And remember that you're worth knowing, loving, and keeping. And keep on being your brilliant, badass warrior self. And I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye, guys.